Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Thursday. We got 10 matchups on this NHL slate today. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. And if you guys like betting on NHL player props, you already know, go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play in the link below. Um, and yeah, go ahead and take advantage, guys. And yeah, we'll hop in here. Pretty busy slate today. 10 matchups. Starting with the Montreal Canadiens versus the New Jersey Devils. Devils opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Montreal plus 140 with the over under at six and a half. The last 10 head to head, the Devils 9 0 oh, 1. The overs hit in six out of the last 10 matchups. Um, I do see Montreal going to be missing a couple players. Devils. Missing um, one of their players. They have two players questionable. Montreal is just 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They did lose to the Devils 3-2 to two in their last meeting. Uh, Devils 2-8 and eight in their last 10. Both teams struggling here. Um, Devils on a four-game losing streak. Montreal 1-4 and four on the road against New Jersey. Um... New Jersey, the overs hit an 8 out of their last 11 games. Maybe the over seems like an intriguing play with two bad defenses here. I mean, definitely hate this matchup here. Definitely staying away from it. If I had to take a shot, um, I would lean with the Devils at home. Not in love with that minus 160, but only for the fact that they've been dominant against Montreal. And... Um, you know, both teams struggling here. I don't hate Montreal as a plus money play as well. You could go either way, honestly. But rolling with the Devils since they've been the more dominant head-to-head -head team. Taking the Devils at home. Next matchup, we have the Nashville Predators versus the Ottawa Senators. Nashville opening up as road favorites at minus 185. Ottawa plus 165 with the over-under at 6. The last 10 head-to-head -head Nashville 7-0-3. Oh, the overs hit in 6 out of the last 10 matchups. Nashville 6-4 in their last 10. They did beat Ottawa a couple games ago 4-1. Ottawa on a 3-game winning streak. They're 5-5 five five in their last 10. Uh, Nashville, the overs hit at their last 11 matchups on the road. And they've been dominant against Ottawa. Ottawa just 4-10 and 10 at home. Yeah, we're taking Nashville on the road here. And the overs hit in each of the last six matchups here. Very intriguing. Let's go ahead. I'm sorry, each of the last 11 matchups, which is insane. So the overs looking like a strong play as well. Taking Nashville and the over. Next matchup, we have the Philadelphia Flyers versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Philly plus 115 with the over-under at 6.5. The last 10 head-to-head -head Columbus 6-3-1. The overs hit in 7 out of the last 10 matchups. Uh, Philly going to be without uh, McEwen. Have a couple other players probable. Columbus does have one player questionable. Philly 3 and 7 in their last 10. They did just play Columbus uh, losing that matchup 4 to 2. Columbus 2 and 8 in their last 10. They've been struggling here, but you know, they are coming off that Philly win. Philly 2 and 16 on the road. 3 and 13 on the road against Columbus. Um I'm going to take Columbus at home. Been the better head-to-head -head team. They did just beat Philly. Philly, just an absolutely horrible road team. Really hard to trust them in this matchup. I'm going to take the Blue Jackets at home. Next matchup, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the New York Rangers. Rangers opening up at... Oh, both teams currently in a pick -em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 5.5. The last 10 head-to-head. -head. Pittsburgh 6-4-0. and oh. The over's hit in 4 out of the last 8 matchups. No injuries here. Uh, Pitt, 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They did lose to the Rangers, 5-1 to one in their last matchup. Uh, Rangers, 7-3 and three in their last 10. Coming off a nice Devils win. Um, 
hit the overs hit in five out of their last seven matchups. Yeah, you know, Rangers did beat them in their last matchup. Pitt has been the slightly better head-to-head -head team here. And you know, pick them scenario, you could really go either way. I like the fact that I can get the Penguins plus one and a half on the road um, on a two-game losing streak. I think it's a good spot for um, Pittsburgh tonight to get a nice, steal a nice win on the road against the Rangers where they got destroyed last meeting. I like Pitt plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Buffalo Sabres versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina opening up as home favorites at minus 360. Buffalo plus 280 with the over-under at 6. The last 10 head-to-head -head Carolina is 9-1-0. The overs hit in 7 out of the last 8 matchups. Um, Carolina does have Bear questionable. Buffalo 6-4 in their last 10. They did just beat Carolina 4-2, which was a huge upset. Uh, Carolina... On a two-game losing streak right now, they're four and six in their last ten. Buffalo one and eleven against Carolina. Literally, the last win was their last game. Um, zero and six on the road against Carolina. Yeah, I like Carolina. Huge bounce back opportunity at home, coming off a big loss against Buffalo. I don't see that happening again. Give me Carolina at home. Next matchup, we have the Seattle Kraken versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago opening up as home favorites at minus 150. Seattle plus 130 with the over-under at 6. The last, these teams have played twice before. Both teams splitting a win. Um, Seattle does have two players questionable. Seattle 5-5 five and five in their last 10 coming off that St. Louis loss. Chicago on a five game losing streak. Two and eight in their last 10. They've looked pretty bad. Seattle three and 10 on the road. Chicago one and five at home. I mean, kind of an ugly matchup I'm staying away from. I don't, I kind of, I think I'm going to take a shot on Seattle plus one and a half on the road. Chicago's just been playing horrible. Delay minus 150 would be way too risky. On a five game losing streak here. I'm not in love with Chicago. I'm gonna take Seattle plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Dallas Stars. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 135. Dallas plus 115 with the over under at six and a half. The last 10 head to head Toronto, seven, three and oh. The overs hit in four out of the last 10 matchups. No injuries for Toronto. Dallas does have three players questionable. Toronto coming off that one point loss against Florida. They're seven and three in their last 10. Dallas also seven and three in their last 10, coming off a three to two win over the Islanders. Toronto, they've been really good against Dallas. 10 and three against Dallas. Five and one on the road against Dallas. Um, yeah, I like Toronto here. Coming off that Tampa loss, I think it's a good bounce back. Got a couple players questionable for Dallas here. And Toronto's just been the better head-to-head -head team here. Um, I'm going to roll with the Maple Leafs on the road. Next matchup, we have the Vancouver Canucks versus the Arizona Coyotes. Vancouver opening up as road favorites at minus 195. Arizona plus 165 with the over-under at 6. The last... 10 head to head Arizona is 7 2 and 1. The overs hit in 5 out of the last 10 matchups. Vancouver does have one player questionable. Uh, no real injuries for Arizona. Vancouver 3 and 7 in their last 10, coming off a nice Vegas win. Arizona 2 and 8 in their last 10. Vancouver, they've been bad against Arizona. 1 and 5 on the road against Arizona. Two and five against Arizona. Um, Arizona just five and ten at home where they've struggled. I'm not going to buy into the fact that Arizona's been, you know, pretty good against Vancouver. I know both teams have been struggling. Vancouver been the far better struggling, far worse struggling team here. I'm going to take Vancouver on the road. 
Next matchup, we have the Calgary Flames versus the San Jose Sharks. Calgary opening up as road favorites at minus 235. San Jose plus 195 with the over under at six. The last three head to head, San Jose is 3 0. The overs hit on two out of the last three matchups. Uh, San Jose does have two players out for this matchup. Calgary, uh, 5 and 5 in their last 10. They're on a two game winning streak. San Jose just 3 and 7 in their last 10 on a four game losing streak here. They've been struggling. Calgary 5 and 1 on the road. San Jose 6 and 12 at home. Yeah, San Jose surprisingly have been the better head to head team here, but I trust Calgary more, Calgary more on the road, especially where they've been good at. San Jose on a four game losing streak. Just don't know if I trust San Jose here. I'm taking Calgary on the road. Then the last matchup, we had the Edmonton Oilers versus the LA Kings. Kings opening up as, I'm sorry, Edmonton opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Kings plus 105 with the over under at six and a half. The last 10 head to head, Edmonton 7 3 0. The overs hit in four out of the last seven matchups. Edmonton does have one player questionable. Edmonton on a five game winning streak. They did beat LA 4 3 in their last meeting. LA 5 and 5 in their last 10, coming off a Calgary loss. Uh, Edmonton 4 and 1 against LA. They've been pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm going to lean with Edmonton on the road on a nice five game winning streak. They did beat LA in their last meeting. I think they can definitely do it again here in a small, small money line spread here. Give me Edmonton money line on the road. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Thursday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Friday. Have a good one.